Hey, how can I help you? Got this old uh, error print dollar bill. Thought it looked interesting. Um, yeah, it's definitely interesting. You didn't try and print this up yourself, did you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to come to the pawn shop today to try to sell my $1 error note. Got this note from my father-in-law. When he passed on, we took over his coin collection, and he had that note in amongst it. My father-in-law kept it for a reason. He seems to be able to know what these things are worth, so I thought it might be worth something. Errors are pretty common. Well, they're not real common. They're, they can be worth money. This is called a fold-over. So this is one of the bills that was in the corner, and it folded over a little bit. Usually, they're like, like down here at the end of the bill. OK. Except I've never seen one folded over this much. I thought that was a pretty big error, and it, it's neat how it actually folded over, and you can see the serial numbers printed right across the two sides. This is in, in incredible shape. Collectors love currency errors, because everyone is completely unique. They often circulate for years before anyone notices the error. So finding one in this condition is really rare. OK, the, the big problem with these things right here is, is there's no book value on them. OK. Because it's an error when there's a million different ways an error can occur. Right. It's usually bigger the error, the more it's worth. Yeah. What would you want to do with it? I'd like to sell it. Figure we don't collect them. I thought somebody would appreciate it more than we do. I've seen currency with minor errors, like a slightly folded edge, sell for hundreds of dollars. But this was a major error. I can't believe this wasn't caught. I really want to call on a friend of mine, let him look at this thing. You need someone who more or less deals in these things to get an idea. Well, I'd be curious what they said. OK. Uh, let me get him down here, and let's find out exactly what it's worth before I make you an offer. OK? OK, sounds good. Thank All right, you. thanks. I'm glad he's calling in an expert because it's such a unique item. I don't know what to expect uh, that it's worth. I'm hoping I can get $100 out of it. Hey, Wayne, how's it going? Good, how are you, Rick? I'm doing great. Good to see you. Well, this is what I called you about. It's a pretty significant error. You said <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> I am a professional numismatist, which is a fancy way of saying I study rare coins and currency. There's no book on them, really. Nope. Nope. And everyone's unique, as you know. It's like just a matter of what somebody will pay for it. Yeah, I mean, that's why I called you. I just, mm -hmm. I have no clue. There's, there's lots of different kinds of errors. This is one of the nicest ones I've seen. It's a significant fold over. It's nice. You have the corner of the sheet, which has the, the back plate number on it. You've got the seal and serial number printed across the fold, which is kind of cool. So how does it exactly end up in circulation? How does this end up getting printed like that? And This was folded between the second and third printing. They print the front of the note. Then they print the back, and the third printing is when they put the serial number and the seals on it. And then they go into another place where they cut the notes, and they actually cut them in stacks of 100. So then I actually count them before they go out. It was just banded and went out, and this would have probably been discovered at a bank when it, when it arrived. This um, grade of 64 is on a scale of 1 to 70, 70 being perfect. You rarely see grades above 66 or 67, so 64 is really a, a top grade for this note. This note is worth significantly more because it's such a dramatic error, and a collector will like it. What's it worth? I mean, it's not rare to see a fold over error, but oftentimes they're just partially folded. You don't have printing across them, and those aren't worth very much money. They're worth, you know, a couple hundred dollars maybe. Because this is so significant and because of the way it's printed over, I think this would bring, um, I I'd say a thousand to fifteen hundred. Wow, that's that's great. Yeah, I was only expecting about a hundred bucks out of it. Thanks, Wayne. Appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for calling me. Wow, this thing is a $1 bill, and it's still worth that much? I've seen 200-year-old coins go for less. All right, so you still want 100 bucks for it? <laughs> I don't think so. No, I think it's probably 1500 If I'm lucky, I'll get 1500 bucks. That's what I'll get out of it, if I'm lucky. OK? I'm not going to give you that. I, I just, I, I can't do it. There's, there's no money to be made at that. I mean, and I have to make money. Tell you what, how, how about 1000 How about 600 bucks? Uh, go a little higher, 700. Mm. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the 700. 700, 700 bucks. Okay. Let's, let's go deal. do some paperwork. Great. This way. The expert said it's worth up to $1,500. I was blown away by that. So I ended up settling for 700, which is uh, far more than I expected to get out of it. I think my wife will probably want me to use that money to take her to Cancun.